70 marches in 15 nations are taking place this year to honor the memory of those Jews killed in the Holocaust and speak out against anti-Semitism. Take a look at this March for Life event in Texas. More than 120 Jews and Christians gathered at Southern Methodist University in Dallas for the March of Remembrance. Lithuania has the most dubious statistic of being the country in Europe that has killed more Jews as percentage to their population than any country in Europe. So 96% or so were killed. You're looking at a 4%er here. Rosie and Zerner shared how when she was six, Nazis took her family to a Lithuanian ghetto. Her parents engineered her escape. That's just the first of my many, many miracles that I survived and I must live my life in gratitude now because of that. Other miracle is that my parents survived and this was kind of unheard of in Lithuania to have an intact family. A German theologian began the March of Remembrance, also known as the March of Life, as a German Christian response to the Holocaust. It's now a worldwide movement. In 1939, September 13th, it was a Rosh Hashanah, and all the Jewish people came to pray in a synagogue. And at that time, the Germans surrounded everybody in the synagogue and pretty much burned them alive. Renata Seisner Hurd's father and grandmother hid nine Jews in Poland for more than two years. My dad heard the rumors, so he walked three and a half kilometers to town to find out if that's just the rumors. But when he got to the city, he just saw the synagogue and the smell of smoldering bodies. And on that day, he made a promise that if any of the Jewish people will ever need help, he will help them. She says it's up to parents to combat anti-Semitism. Raise those kids colorblind and not looking for the differences. I always say, don't look for the differences. Look how much we have in common. Don't promote hate. The march has a threefold goal. Remember the Holocaust victims, stand against anti-Semitism and hate, and promote reconciliation with the Jewish community. Born in Germany, both of Claudia Kissinger's grandfathers were Nazis. Now she's a March of Remembrance national director. I know that it was my family who was participating in, in the atrocities that happened. I cannot condemn them, but I live now and I have to choose my path. As a Christian, Claudia now advocates against anti-Semitism. If you read your Bible, it's all over the place. Jesus was Jewish. I want to love what God loves and God loves his people. And this is why I stand up and raise my voice and want to show also the Jewish people that I'm standing next to them. Campus participants were given a stone with the name of a university student or someone that age who died in the Holocaust. They were asked to remember the person as they marched to show they are not forgotten. Since the end of World War II, Germany has undertaken particular efforts to remember the events of the Holocaust and to try to learn from those. Andreas Bremer, a German diplomat, says the key to stopping the spread of anti-Semitism is reaching the next generation. An important part to combat anti-Semitism would be education, overcoming prejudice, and to allow young people to come together and enjoy working together, appreciating the differences of each race, of each nationality. Jesus taught his followers, seek first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. It's the right thing to do to stand for life. Christian anti-Semitism is not a Jewish problem. It's a Christian problem. Dr. Brad Young says he wants Christians to see the deep roots of this hatred that is the spirit of the Antichrist against God's people. If the promises of God to Israel are not kept faithfully, and they are, then none of God's promises are keeping faithful. Young says Christians today are not the same as in 1935. Many are connected to Israel and have relationships with Jewish people. And yet, he says, many realize the persecution could happen again. There is a perfect storm which is forming that seems like it creates the opportunity for this type of hatred and violence. So an event like this brings healing and hope, and you see that they feel like they're not alone. They have friends that support them. All participants agreed it's critical to speak out against anti-Semitism so coming generations will understand the importance of standing with the Jewish people. 
Then the words never again can become reality. Alpha.